it is one. Hey guys, I am back again for another video. This is Emma Schloss, Life According to Maria, and I am excited today. I'm sorry if my hair is a little poofy. I just got out of the shower. I just did my hair, and it's a little damp up here. <laughs> and if you hear trucks going by and everything going around, I'm actually in my back deck. Um, I just popped up my, my video camera here because I've got a bunch of stuff ready to go indoors. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be um, cooking dinner tonight. I'm going to be putting up a recipe uh, that I got from a cast iron skillet recipe book. I know, it, it's, it's funny, but this calls for like an enamel coated cast iron skillet, which I couldn't find, but I digress again. It's, it's catfish piccata, and I'm going to be um, filming it for you guys. So I've got everything set up inside the house to go, so I didn't have any other place to come except outside of the house to actually film this other video um, that I want to talk about. And uh, so little little story here behind everything, and I'm not going to do a little intro because I'm not going to waste y'all's time. I'm just going to get right into it so that we don't waste any time. Um, I was going to Kroger to do my weekly shopping, and that's where I, you know, got my, um, my catfish and all this other stuff that I'm going to be making. And one of my very dear friends here in Atlanta, uh, like a couple of months ago, brought me um, some honey sticks. They're just little sticks that you kind of, I guess, put into your honey. Okay, here comes the truck. Do you hear this? This is my timing. So now this huge truck is coming through and the street behind me. Okay, now, there's, now they're stopping. Now my dog's going. Yay. <laughs> but anyway, um, so my, my friend got me the... Um, these honey sticks and I try them and I love them and I'm like oh my gosh you know where'd you get them and she said there's like a little uh, local uh, bee farm type of store next door to Kroger and uh, she was there um, one day there's a um, there's a blood bank there what is it called uh, Red Cross and she was going ahead and um, doing her blood donation and when she came out she it was right next door to the to the uh, Red Cross. Uh, she went into this honey store just to pass the time, and she just started talking to the uh, friendly uh, lady there. Her name is Pam, by the way. Hi, Pam, out there. And um, so she bought a couple of things from uh, the store, and of course passed it on to me, knowing that I'm all into you know health and everything. And uh, and I got hooked on it. So. Anyway, long story short, the next time I went to do my shopping, I, okay, it took me a while to do my shopping and actually go into the store because normally um, I'm with my husband when I go shopping, okay? And oh, this my dog is just driving me nuts out here. It's just crazy. Biscuit, quiet, quiet. He'll stop. Don't worry. He'll stop. It's just the truck. The truck gets him all excited. So anyway, I usually go with my husband to do my grocery shopping. And my husband is one of these creatures that he goes straight to where he needs to go. We do not veer here and we do not veer there. We go straight to the place that we're going to go shopping. We buy what is on the list. We don't veer, you know, outside of that uh, so that we're in our budget, right? I like to stop along the way. I like to discover new things. He hates going shopping with me because I, I'm kind of like a spontaneous shopper. I'll have something. Oh, something's on sale. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, look at that organic thing. Oh, I got to try that out. And by the time we go through the aisles, our basket is like twice what he anticipated. And he always says that I break his budget. So he tries, you know, uh, to rein me in. But anyway, I am I am free today. I am free. He's at work, and um, I've recently uh, got in between jobs now, um, so I have a couple of days off. So I am free to go where I want to go, when I want to go. It is such great freedom. Um, and what I wanted to do today was completely stop before I went to Kroger and go to this 
um, honey place that I wanted to get to for so long that um, my poor friend gave me these uh, samples to try and I just could not get back into the honey place because God forbid, you know, we veer off the course, right? Anyway, I got there and I got me a little haul. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and look how cute that is. Okay, and it's called uh, it's called Georgia Honey Farm. If anyone's interested, and I'll I'll put their link below, and I believe they have a website. They're not um, very uh, into social uh, media, so they don't have an Instagram and they don't have a Twitter. Believe me, I asked. Um, I kind of went in there and I took a, um, some pictures once I told them who I am and that I have a uh, natural, you know, organic channel that I run on YouTube. Uh, the lady was very, very nice and let me walk through the store and do uh, some really beautiful pictures of how they put together uh, their display and everything. So uh, that'll be uh, in the, you know, at the end of this video, I'll put together a kind of mini little slide of all the pictures that I've taken. But anyway, in here, I wanted to show you guys what I got and I wanted to show you um, she gave me a, a bunch of little cute things, honey bee uh, to brain freeze, little things that you can do with your kids um, to make you know, honey popsicles and healthy strawberry puree Ooh, stuff. Look at this. You can get you know honey with little waffles and everything. I mean, just a bunch of really cute things. Um, and of course, you know, you can pick that up when you go there, if you go there. And then, of course, everything's in this pretty yellow package for the honey color and so I'm just gonna grab a couple of things out here so the first thing that I got well not the first thing but the first thing out of the bag is the bee pollen 100% pure raw and natural uh, bee pollen so here it is and this is the seven ounce jar and I'll tell you all the you know prices as well but I just wanted to show you how that looks like isn't that pretty Look how golden that is. And I know the sun is kind of, I'm in the shade, but I have the sun as well. And there's that. And um, this is uh, one tablespoon is 20 calories and total carbs is really three. Uh, two grams of sugar, one gram of protein, and five grams of bee pollen. Now, uh, I just want to make mention, um, you know, supposedly this is really good for actually if you're having any um, allergies to incorporate bee pollen into your um, into your diet uh, slowly and it basically uh, boosts your immune system so that your allergies kind of go down that's the theory it's it's almost like you're in you're introducing uh, some allergens into your system so that you won't be allergic to other things and of course consult with your doctor don't um, don't do anything that you know don't just try things if you do have severe allergies to anything please consult with your doctor and make sure that you can take bee pollen um, I I do and I have and I usually put this in my yogurt um, I will put this uh, in my cottage cheese like a low fat or fat free cottage cheese maybe with some fresh fruit or puree uh, or applesauce into the cottage cheese and then put this on it. Don't use too much. Uh, you don't need to use too much. One tablespoon is, I think, way too much. Uh, she actually gave me a tiny little, uh, let me see if I can find it, little plastic spoon that I'm supposed to use. Hang on. Oh, there she is. This is, this is how little this spoon is. It's a tiny little spoon. Look at my hand and then look at the spoon. Okay. And she told me to use about a third of this spoon. This is like one of those um, ice cream, when you taste ice cream, you know, when you go into the ice cream store and then you uh, take a little ice cream because you don't know what the taste is going to be like and you don't want to commit to buying a whole scoop of that ice cream before you actually taste it. Uh, so it's that kind of size, all right? And now imagine that and being like one third of that and that's what she told me to use. I'm using a half, I mean, you know, I'll cheat a little bit, um, but that's fine. You know, I'm used to it, I've built up to it, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Let me get my little receipt out here so I can tell you guys. All right, so the bee pollen for the seven ounce was uh, $13.99. So that's, I, I don't think that's too bad. I think mostly it's comparable. If you go to Whole Foods or you go anywhere and you get uh, bee pollen, and I've seen them 
as high as 15 to 18 dollars it just depends uh, I think this is really comparable and it's great quality you can tell how beautiful this is so uh, I you know it's fine 13 dollars and this will last you forever because if you're using one-third of that tiny little teaspoon this sucker is gonna last you you know and you do it maybe once a day in your meal if that it's gonna last you forever so 13 bucks you can't beat that okay the next thing up and uh, this is a uh, gallberry honey um, it comes from a gallberry tree or bush I'm, I'm not sure it's a berry and it is specific to so that these bees only gather from this gallberry uh, bush I guess and let me tell you uh, she had there to try uh, in these little spoons also you can get freebie samples with the little spoons and the tiny little cup that she will give you she had about six different forms of honey so she had like uh, clover gallberry um, there was a uh, wildflower um, and two others that I can't remember some you know some very dark colors and some lighter colors this is a beautiful golden color I know it's kind of not coming through on the on the video I'm trying to position it so you guys can see it but it is a beautiful golden golden look to it and just tasted wonderful I mean this was the one that I chose to try because I I do get uh, clover at other places I do get a uh, wildflower at other uh, stores you know Whole Foods um, of course uh, sprouts all of these places but I did want to try something that I hadn't tried before so that's the gallberry and I'm gonna put that in my tea tonight I cannot wait I cannot wait I mean I seriously could eat this like spoon it out and keep eating it that's how crazy I am now I got a treat for myself this is the last thing I got and again I don't you know I didn't buy out the store and I'll put up the pictures of all the different honeys and things I took still pictures all over the store so you will see that um, this is a treat from my childhood this brings back my grandmother it brings back Canada it brings back when I was, you know, six, seven years old. Um, and she loved honey. She put honey in everything. I think that's where I got my, my taste for it and my indulgence for it. Um, she said uh, that honey is um, a purifier for the heart. It is a heart healthy uh, type of nutrient. And she was all about, in those days, uh, they had jars like this, you know, these type of jars and they had the honeycomb inside the jar along with the honey and um, she would go to a special store she would get that jar with the honeycomb and I loved the honeycomb I would you know break off little bits with my spoon or sometimes as I'm going to show you right now she would actually buy a a block and this is a block in fact let me put it to you this way this is the wildflower comb comes from the hives to your home this is a block of honeycomb I haven't even opened it up yet you see it's just beautiful just gorgeous look at that color and when I saw this and this is um, I believe this is 1595 I I just it brought me back and I had to I had to have it she also had um, some honeycomb to you know pick off with the spoon so I could try it there and it just like just just chomping on the, the the wax of it brought back so many wonderful memories um, of my childhood of being in Canada of the summertime it's just a wonderful happy happy time happy feeling what do you do a lot of people ask what do you do with the honeycomb while it's in your mouth what's the <laughs> <laughs> what would Miss Manners do, you know? Uh, does she spit out the honeycomb? Um, do you chew and swallow the honeycomb? Do you just chomp on it forever? What do you do? Well, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I, if it's a small enough amount, 
And I talked to this with Pam. Actually, I asked her this while I was in the store because I had a little bit in my mouth. And I said, you know, I usually um, just swallow it, just chew it like chewing gum till it's gone. And will the wax do anything? And she said, no, actually, the wax is a great thing to get into your system, and it just passes food through you. It's almost like it's nature's little, you know, fiber and purifier. So kind of like the toxins in your in your stomach, in your belly, um, latch onto it, and it just like, kind of think of it as little marble pellets, you know, in your stomach, and it just kind of <laughs> goes right through you. So it's not gonna do anything, any harm to you whatsoever. Uh, if you if you want to spit it out, and, okay, now someone's drilling back here, wonderful. If you want to spit it out, uh, by all means, go and spit it out into a napkin or wherever, you know. Uh, don't have to put it on top of a table or anything like that, but you get the idea. It's, it's fine. I wouldn't put this in tea. I wouldn't actually cut a piece off of it and put... Um, put it into tea because it's going to, uh, you know, melt. I, it, I don't think it would be good for that. But definitely, uh, she suggested to, um, if you want to put a platter, like a hors d'oeuvre platter together for your, um, for guests, especially around the holidays, now that the holidays are coming up. I know the sound is annoying, guys. I'm going to try to filter it out and as best I can in um, post-processing, but just know someone just deemed it necessary to, I guess, maybe blow their driveway full of leaves. Great. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, it, she said like a platter, put some cheese, maybe goat cheese or regular uh, spreadable cheese, put some crackers, uh, put a little honeycomb there, uh, maybe even regular honey in a little pot and have people or and put some preserves maybe some um, fresh food preserves and then have people make their own crackers with the honey and the and the cheese the soft cheeses and the uh, the preserves uh, you can't get better than that you can do it as an appetizer or you can also do it as a kind of like a after meal dessert type of tray I think that would be wonderful as well. I certainly would partake either time, either before a meal or after a meal. I would do it both. So that's it. Those are the three things that I bought. Um, there's nothing else. Well, there's one little thing in here, another booklet. Oh, these are sweet honey recipes for everyday cooking. So you could do, um, I don't know, there's a spice crusted salmon with orange honey glaze. Uh, so, oh, honey barbecue marinated chicken drumsticks. Look at that. Yeah, she, she put all kinds of fun stuff in here for me to try. And guess what? I might actually um, do one or two of these recipes and actually, uh, you know, film it for you guys. See how it comes out. Honey five spiced thighs. Oh, my gosh. Honey peanut butter protein energy balls. Um, honey macaroon dessert pizza, spice crusted salmon, I already said that. But yeah, definitely, I think I'm going to pick a couple of um, things out of here and maybe try it and film it for you guys and let you know how that worked out. And now that I have some time on my hands, um, like I said, I'm between jobs, so I am making the most of it, putting as much YouTube videos out there for you guys and sharing as much as I can. Um, and going around town without hubby so I can kind of explore and maybe find some new things out there uh, for you guys. And when I do, boom, I put it up there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below and let me know if you make it into this or a similar type of store. I'm sure there are stores like this around your neighborhood. Um, go on the internet, go on YouTube, I mean not YouTube, Google it, and see if there's anything in your neighborhood that you want to try. And please leave me comments below and let me know if you have tried different um, varieties and honeys and, you know, how they're working out for you. And don't forget, honey is a great um, antioxidant and anti-pollutant for your face. There's... Um, you know, honey masks that you can do. Uh, I put a little honey, you could do honey and uh, yogurt mask. 
I know that's a favorite. That's something really, really good that you can do. Um, so, and you can Google the other type of masks, you know, that you can perform. There's beneficial results, beauty results, both internally and externally for honey. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say because the guy is being annoying and still on to blowing his leaves. I know it's the fall, but you know, it's, why does it have to be done like right this minute? You know, <laughs> anyway, I love you guys till my next video. Talk to you later. Bye bye.